All right, it is finally time for level three, tier six on turn eight. Uh, but first, I'm going to show this run where I almost achieved it and actually watching it back made a pretty bad misplay. Um, thankfully, I didn't notice it at the time because, uh, you know, I would have, it would have probably felt even worse n just missing out on the uh, beating the challenge. But um, yeah, this, this challenge was um, kind of posed by uh, RevGT and it's over two months ago now. He got a level three tier six on turn nine. And here I'd, I'd had hundreds of attempts before this and I decided that I was going to try a different strategy of pilling the eagle immediately and therefore freeing up the food shop because a lot of the time I would end up holding the pill for too long. Um, however, I pilled the eagle and I ended up getting another eagle. Now, most of the time, I, you know, the vast, vast majority of runs, you're not getting another eagle from one of the level ups. And it's it's uh, it's pretty frustrating when you... You decide to go a different route and then you do actually get another eagle. Um, but I do still have the triple blobfish. Um, so we're going to go for uh, um, the level 3 spino next turn. However, the odds of that happening are extremely low and you'll see why. Um, so by the blobfish, now we only have 7 gold. If we level the... the we we'll combine them together and then use the single pill... That will be a 2.66 Spino, and we'll need to roll Blobfish and Pill on the next roll in order to get it. And we just get the Pill. So, to be honest, I probably should have just pilled the Spinosaurus here and gotten it over and done with, but um, I actually carried on for a little bit, uh, but, you know, th there was no chance of that run going anywhere. But in retrospect, you know, mistakes were made. I could have, I could have probably got it there. Um, but when you're doing these runs, you're just you're you're playing so many back to back to back. It's very very easy to autopilot. Um, so yeah, I don't recommend it. <laughs> but anyway, here is the actual run where I get the the level three tier six on turn eight, and I'm just doing the same strat where I um, buy the marmosets, chinchillas, and pigs on turn one and two, and then. Um, we're looking to level into blobfish. Climbfish is also fine because once we get some uh, blobfish on board, that means we have a bigger, a better chance to win. And then I decide to just sell everything and look for more stoats and spiders. And I think we get a spider here on the last roll. Spider and stoat are both, you know, your options for finding blobfish um, beyond them just appearing in the shop on turn uh, five. And it also means that you can potentially get a level two uh, straight away. And so we get the third stoat. Um, there were some runs where I tried just selling all the stoats individually. I wasn't sure if that was better or worse, but you know, when you're only getting a one in 10 chance to get the blobfish, sometimes it feels like it's better to just sell them individually. Uh, I don't know if, the, if someone can do the maths on it, but anyway, we combine these stoats and no surprise, this is the winning run. So we have to get the level two blobfish and it's better fish and flee from spider, which is uh, no good. And however, getting deer is actually pretty good because you know a level two boss on turn five is going to do a lot of damage and that's going to keep the lives intact. Uh, although I wasn't really concerned about trying to win, um, you know, it's always in your mind because you could get something like alpaca and then your team just uh, skyrockets in power level. And here, because of the beta fish, we actually scrape the draw. One of the problems with having lots of blobfish in your team is that jellyfish is so common. Um, it's just, I don't know why it gets buffs when uh, when the opposing team levels up. But um, here we actually get another beta fish, so that means we can potentially level it as well to look for eagle. It's also, you know, you want to have as many levels as possible going into... Um, into turn seven and there were many many runs where i had um you know four level ups on turn seven some somewhere i had five and i didn't get a single eagle so you know it's you just need a an incredible sequence and here well, that's going to happen because we get the crow in the empty s space uh, however i do level up the betta fish and um, blobfish and get lion and uh, blue ringed octopus which is no good However, because there's a crow, that means I can pill the blobfish onto the crow. 
and we're going to get the eagle. Now that means I can sell the other stuff I don't need, pill the blobfish, and now that means next turn we will be able to sell the crow, recover two gold, and then buy the chocolate. So that will have only cost one gold. And then we will only need um, one more level up to get the level three eagle. So uh, you know, we're going to lose this turn as well. No big deal. I, you know, you just accept that's what, what's going to happen. And I actually get a crow in the opening shop. So think about the sequence that had to happen to get the eagle to this point. And here we then get the pill on the next roll. I could have easily rolled four times there and found no pill. And we get another level three reindeer. Um, however, two lives, turn eight. Um, it's not looking too hot. Uh, I think if that was alpaca or, you know, one of the scalers, maybe. I, at this point, I can't remember what was in the pack. And again, the the, uh, the the reindeer makes a pretty good effort of trying to solo the opposing team on turn eight, but not going to work out. And we only have 10 gold, so we can't even field a full team. Uh, I'm going to take the manatee and the eagle and the nyala. They're just the best that's available. Um uh, reindeer starting stats are actually kind of kind of rubbish for tier six to be honest um i think it's one of those where you get it out of the level three eagle and it just you can, it's hard to believe that it's level three however it is good enough on this turn to beat that uh, opposing team but time is running out for this squad i mean look at our stats they're just absolutely appalling and it doesn't really matter how good the any of the abilities are other teams are going to have huge stats and also um good abilities so i think i just give the reindeer a, a pair for good luck and um you know off we go to what's going to be the final battle because we get matched with the good old highland cow tamarind sold into highland cow and uh, it's game over you know there's really nothing you can do about it but to be honest i, I wasn't bothered in the slightest i'd finally got the level three tier six on turn eight after many hundreds of attempts.